The Lewis structure of Ca3N2, calcium nitride, has calcium, a metal, from the left side of the table, bonded to nitrogen, a non-metal, from the right-hand side. Metals and non-metals combine to form ionic compounds, which means there's a transfer of electrons from the metal to the non-metal. This is going to take some work, but bear with me. Calcium is in the second column, so it brings two valence electrons with it. Ca, one, two. Nitrogen is in group 15, so it brings five valence electrons with it. That's nitrogen, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, now the name of the game here is giving electrons away from the metals to the non-metals until all the metals have no electrons left and all the non-metals have a full eight electrons in its outer shell. That's called the octet rule. That's when it's satisfied. So this calcium is gonna start giving away its electrons. One, two, that calcium has no electrons left and nitrogen still only has seven electrons around it. It needs eight for the octet rule. That means we're gonna need another calcium atom with its two valence electrons. It'll give one of those electrons away to the nitrogen. Now nitrogen has eight. It had five and it gained three, that's eight. But now this calcium has an extra electron as well. So bring in another nitrogen one, two, three, four, five. That calcium will give its electron away to nitrogen, but now that nitrogen only has six. It needs eight to be satisfied. So bring in another calcium with its two valence electrons. Finally, that electron will pair up here. This electron pairs up here. This nitrogen will be happy with a, a complete octet or eight electrons around it. This calcium will be happy because it will have no electrons remaining. And we're finally ready to draw the final Lewis structure. Your calcium ions have no electrons left around them. So don't draw any dots around your CAs. Write plus two to show that they lost two electrons each. And you're going to need three of them because you needed three of them to make all the electrons balance. So I'm just going to draw it three times here. There you go. The nitrogens, on the other hand, have those extra electrons. So I'm going to draw the N with eight dots around it each. That was five plus three new ones on each diagram. The three new ones give it a minus three charge. I'm going to have to draw that one twice because there were two of them. That shouldn't have been a surprise. The formula tells you that you need three calciums and two nitrogens to make this all balance. This is your final Lewis structure. If you thought it was annoying, your teacher might let you take a shortcut and write three times calcium with the two plus charge to show that there are three of them and two times the nitrogen with its eight electrons each and its minus three charge. You, they, again, this is a shortcut that you might be allowed to take. This is the official ionic Lewis structure for calcium nitride. Hey, that was one of the longer ones, but thanks for sticking with me. Best of luck.